I'm a transplant surgeon, and I transplant uh, kidney and uh, pancreas organs um, into patients with end-stage renal disease and diabetes. Um, this work is, uh, I'm privileged to be able to do this work um, because I get to see patients who are in great need with uh, end-stage renal disease and who've been long-term type 1 diabetics, and, uh, and the surgery is really transformative for them so that the uh, people with end-stage renal disease come off dialysis and the people with uh, type 1 diabetes are no longer diabetic. I also am a urologist who does uh, uh, work for kidney and ureteral cancers as well as reconstructive urology. For many of the patients after transplant, uh, within a few hours to a day or two, you see a magnificent transformation in their, uh, in their level of energy, the color in their, uh, in their cheeks, they, uh, uh, the way that they're sort of embracing life. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful feeling to see the patients. And then it's also transformative for their families. Um, their families have dealt with these chronic illnesses, both diabetes and end-stage kidney disease for many years. And to see in a matter of days their, uh, their loved one uh, be able to return to uh, good health um, is, uh, is magnificent. The big strides that are happening in organ transplant come on the immunosuppression side. And those are in the drugs that control the body's response to the foreign organ. I, uh, became a postdoctoral fellow in the immunology department at the University of Washington and spent uh, three years uh, looking into some ba very basic questions in immunology. So I teach residents uh, here at Virginia Mason and I also teach in the medical school at the University of Washington. I'm married and have two young children and we live here in Seattle and, uh, and we love to spend time outside. Um, we uh, hike and camp in the summers, uh, we ski in the winters, and, uh, and all four of us uh, bike ride, and so we've done some extended biking uh, trips. Uh, we also have a young puppy that keeps us busy on the weekends. The process of transplant surgery requires a lot of trust between the the uh, surgeon and the patient. Um, I work hard to build that trust and, uh, and have been fortunate that over the years that I've been able to do that with many hundreds of patients who've had their uh, successful transplants and have, have done well and thrived afterwards.